Generally, the turbo is mounted near the exhaust manifold. Exhaust gases enter the turbine side and strike the fins of the turbine wheel, causing it to rotate, which in turn rotates the compressor wheel on the other side. As the compressor wheel rotates, intake air pressure increases. This increased air pressure is called boost and is measured in pounds per square inch, or PSI. Two other important areas of the automatic are the clutches and bands and the hydraulic system. We talked earlier about the planetary gear sets and how they provide the final gear ratio for the drive shaft. The ballet of locking and rotating gears in a planetary gear set is controlled by a series of clutches and bands. A clutch assembly typically includes a series of clutch discs, springs and pistons. The clutch is used to either drive or lock the gear set members in the planetary gear set. The bands are used to stop the rotation of a rotating part or assembly. Here again, good old-fashioned friction is put to good use. Overhead cam engines come in two forms, the SOHC, single overhead cam, and the DOHC, double overhead cam. SOHC engines typically have the basic two valve per cylinder, but sometimes may have three valves per cylinder. The DOHC engine has two cams per head, one intake cam and one exhaust cam. The big advantage with the DOHC is the ability to have at least four valves per cylinder.